This is a three-part video, so if you haven't watched the previous parts, please see below the link. Thank you. Welcome to my channel, Dennis! Hi, Annette. It's a pleasure to be on your channel. Thank you. I'm so old. I had expression because I knew I was out. My body was dead. My heart had stopped. So I was scared to look at it. So I just pointed myself in the direction of the bed and I just flew into my body with my, my thought and my soul. And the minute I... Um, also, um, after that experience, I kind of got a kind of gift that... Um, I'm able to read people's energy. Um, it happened to me uh, right after that experience. I, uh, I was so grateful to be alive again. Um, I did. You know, I was still with my band, and we we played a place in Mont Roland in Canada. Um, it's not far from Montreal, um, Canada, and um, this was before. I knew how this gift works and how it, you know, I didn't know how it worked at the time. Um, I kind of stumbled onto it after my second uh, near-death experience. Uh, I kind of accidentally found out that I had this. Um, I was in a, a club and there was a snowstorm and there was um, maybe two customers in the whole place <laughs> and a lot of waitresses. So me and my band, we were bored. There was nobody to really play to. Um, so I said to one of the waitresses, who I did not know from my hole in the wall, I did not know her at all. I said, hey, come on over here. I, I'm going to tell you your future for fun. And this was supposed to be a joke. So I said, give me your left hand. And I said, I grabbed her hand and I said, your boyfriend is paraplegic. He blames you for his handicap. I said, uh, in three months, you're going to meet someone and you're going to fall in love and you're going to leave this boyfriend and you're going to marry this guy and you're going to be happy. And then I just left her hand and I finished my beer. And I did notice that she didn't say a word while I was saying all those things. So I just figured she was just playing along and, and you know, it, it was a joke, you know, to have some fun. So I finished my beer and she left. And um, we didn't play that club again for another year, but we, we went back there the year after and she still was working there. And she ran up to me and she said, did you know that everything you said was true? I said, what? I said, your boyfriend is really paraplegic. She said, yes. I said, he blames you for his handicap. She said, yes. And you met someone three months after and she said yes and and you got married to him and she showed me the wedding ring on her finger and when she said that the hairs went up my arm like crazy and i got a little bit afraid because i said what am i now am i a martian now what what's what's, <laughs> what's going on you know so um that was the first experience that i realized that I could, uh, I was a scared, I was scared of it at first. Um, um, and I did have a, after that, I did have one more bad experience. Um, well, not bad, but a, 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 a strange experience. It wasn't, it's not such a great story because it, it, it's kind of a sad story. Um, I had a friend um, who was a bouncer. Um, but this guy was cool. He was, you know, straight guy. And he just loved my music and loved the band. And um, I had this premonition that for this weekend, I had, the, I had the premonition on Thursday that for this weekend, this guy shouldn't go out. He should stay home, should not go out. And uh, now this guy's, uh, he's like, he's a doorman and he's huge. And I'm a, you know, what doormen usually are, huge, huge, huge case. Um, and uh, so I saw him on Friday. Um, he's he's to work at these places called after hour places. Now, after hour places are kind of like uh, places that stay open um, kind of secretly almost. 
um, after the, the normal clubs close. And they call it after hours. And people go there to hang out. You can have still have a, a drink if you want or whatever, a beer, whatever. Um, and me, after my show, I would go. I couldn't. I didn't want to go straight home and go to sleep because I had so much energy after my show. So I would go to these after hours and I would talk with the musicians, with the public about the show and did they like it and stuff like that. And he would be there. And I saw him that Friday and I wanted to tell him you know, what, what my premonition was, was not to go out. But I said, if I said, if I tell him, I said, I didn't even know at that time still, you know, maybe this is just a strange feeling. Maybe it was just a, a bad dream or something. Maybe it's don't pay attention to it. You know, I, I, I didn't know what to feel because I said, I'm, I'm not sure if this, this is real. So how I'm going to go and tell this big guy, don't go out on the weekend. You know, you shouldn't go out on the weekend. You know, I said, I said to myself, who's going to mess with him? He's so huge. Nobody's going to bother him. Believe me. So I didn't tell him. And uh, the next day, next Saturday, um, a friend of mine um, called me and told me, did you, did you hear what happened to the bouncer at that after our place that you you go to sometimes i said no what happened they said that he met a girl uh, after his job finished and he took her to her hotel and she waited till he fell asleep and with a knife she cut his throat and he lost too much blood to fight her back because he was sleeping and uh, he died. And I end up going to his funeral. And I said to myself, if ever I have a premonition, even if it's for the president of the United States, I will tell them. I will never withhold information again. Never. And, uh, and then after that, I, I kind of understood my gift. And that is to help people. I do readings. I do health readings. Um, I can tell people about their children if they give me the names. I can tell them uh, about um, their partners. Uh, I can tell a lot of things just through their energy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was not able to do that before my, my near death. So um, now I, I'm very much um, helping people um, through readings, through health readings, through life readings, and also all the information that I got um, from my download on the other side. Because when I was over on the other side, I got all this information, and, I, and this time I was allowed to remember it when I came back. So I know a lot of things, a lot of things surprised me on this the information. Um, the, one of the things that surprised me was that there is no right or wrong on the other side. There is none that does not exist. Um, there's only experience and perception. Um, also, the other thing that surprised me was that um, there was not a lot of religion. Um, there was many Jesuses. That's another thing. Um, but um, and there was um, uh, if you believe in something your soul is so powerful that it creates it on the other side. So, for example, um, if enough people uh, back in Jesus' days, enough people believed in that, that it opened a, a door in the spiritual world that a soul could come as Jesus and play Jesus. Um, also, um, the information about the bible also the, the new the, the old testament and the new testament the a lot of the old testament is not accurate at all and and also some of the new testament was not accurate because it was manipulated by um, the governments at that time and um and they wanted to make um, things that jesus said uh, co confusing or fearful and Jesus was not about that. He was only about love. He was about uh, showing people how to exist on this third dimension in love, in the 
you know, Jesus came with the consciousness from the other side to the physical. And that's why he was able to do uh, miracles and stuff. But the real Jesus uh, was not condemning you and, and, and um, punishing you and all these other things. Um, because God, on the other side, there is no right or wrong. I want to say that again. <laughs> and, and, and people may say, you know, well, what happens to, you know, Hitler or all those bad people? And I say, well, what I got was there is no punishment, but you, you, you do have like a life review. And the, in the life review, you're going to feel all the things that you, you did with, um, but you're going to feel it from the other people, how you affected the other people. So let's say if I had an argument with, with a person in my life review, I'm going to feel how that person felt when I was arguing with them. I'm going to feel their feelings, not mine, but their feelings. So, I mean, a person like Hitler who caused so many people death, uh, fearful deaths and all kinds of tragedies, that's kind of going to be like a, a really not so nice feeling. <laughs> Um, but it won't last, it's not forever, because there is, and that's another thing, um, people, uh, this is another download I got, people who have died and went to hell and came back to life again, they have created the hell themselves. And the soul, once it realizes that it's in hell and that it's the one that's creating it, not God, <laughs> Wow. The soul leaves, and I have to say also for heaven. Um, on the other side, heaven is anywhere because it's all God's light. It's all God's love. Anywhere you go is heaven. So it's not like a, a particular place. If you you can on uh, the other thing, big information. Um, this is what I got in my download was that we all are gods, and not I mean not small gods. I mean you can create a whole universe with just half of a thought, half of a thought. We all are gods and we are part of God and we all are personal expressions of God. And God gives us free will to do whatever we want. Um, so, um, and, and there is no, no punishment because what we are, our souls are love. The soul is made up of love. The, it's not the it's not the thought of love it's actual love it is love it's the actual expression of love every soul that's why i tell people you know people come into the third dimension to experience because in the other side it's high vibration only not low vibration high so in order it's like i'll give you an example it's like um if you read all the books on how to drive a car, but you've never driven, driven a car, that's how it is over there. You have all the information, but the experience. And if you want to experience hate or you want to experience separation, you can't do that on the other side. You have to lower your density to 3D, third dimension, which is Earth. And that's just only one of the planets. <laughs> there's many planets and there's many experiences uh, that you can have. And there's many lives also. Reincarnation is real, yes. If you want. It, but it's your choice. It's not like you it's not like you're forced. It's your choice if you want to come back, if you want to do something again, if you um, because souls they pick their mother, they pick their uh, kids, they pick their um, parents and, and, and best friends and husbands and wives and all of these things are picked out before you get here. <laughs> it's picked out on the other side because each of us have what we call like a soul group. <laughs> and these soul groups are kind of like our friends, our little friends. And, and each of them have different groups. And, and some souls, this soul group is more closer than the other souls that are there. So, so, uh, and you incarnate to different lives and different experiences, usually together. And it could be 20 of you. And, and one will say, I want to play your mother. Okay. I want to play, play your father. Yes. Hey, I want to play your little boy. 
Hey, I want to play your little girl. Hey, I want to be your best friend. Hey, I want to be the, the guy that breaks your heart over there. Hey, I want to be the, the guy you marry. Hey, I want to be the, the, uh, the animal, um, your dog. <laughs> I want to be your dog that you love so much. I want to be that cat that you, you, you wanted. All those things. And, and you pick them out. So, um, you know, somebody asked me once in a reading, um, what's, what's more true, free will or destiny? And I said, both. Because you pick a certain path um, that you're going to meet certain people and do certain things. That's going to happen no matter what in your life. And then there's other things that you'll do in life that you have total free will, that you can go down any path you want. But certain points in your life have already been picked out, like your parents or like your children. That's already predestined. That's destiny. Free will is all the other choices. What you're going to do, how you're going to do it. Uh, if you choose to um, your best friend to, to keep your best friend, that's still your free will. But the best friend has already been chosen before you came <laughs> into this life. You see? So, but you still have free will to say, oh, I want you to be my best friend or I reject you. That's your free will. So, um, so the answer is both for that. And um, also um, one of other my uh, download I got that... Um, we're now in a stage of energy change and there's a, the earth is changing her vibration. And there's a story behind that. I got, I got the story from the other side and it's, it, it's pretty, pretty deep story. Um, but this is, I'm going to tell you because this is what I got. Um, and the story is, is that, okay. Souls, they create games on the other side. And I'm sorry to say, um, uh, life is only precious because of the love that's in the life. Other than that, life is a game. It's a game. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like, you know, you're, you're with your soul group and you say, hey, did you hear about that game called Earth? Yeah, I heard about it. I said, well, I'm going to go and play that game. What? You're going to do it? No. Yeah. But this, but I won't lose my memory that I'm not God. I won't lose that, but I'm going to go play. So you go and you get bored and you come back and you tell your friends, hey, you won't believe that game called Earth. It's so crazy. But the only thing is, I forgot who I was when I was there. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't remember that I was a, a God. And then your other friend says, well, I'm going to go and play that game too. But this time I won't forget that I'm, I'm not a God. And they go and play and they come back. And that's pretty much how it is. Um, the real precious thing in life is the love. And the love is the soul. And I always tell people, I say, you know, even the person that is doing something horrible or you might consider in human terms a real bad person, um, when they die, and they leave that body and that way of thinking, what's left is their soul. And what is soul? What is the soul made of? Love. That's it. So they, it's like Napoleon, you know, they come and they say, oh, I'm going to play the role of Napoleon. And yeah, you do you war and all this other stuff. But when they, Napoleon dies, what's left? His soul. And what is his soul made out of? Love. Because God is everything. God is not just the good person. God is also the bad person. God is everything. And even the bad situations have a, have a road to love. And also, um, it's like this. The best way to describe it, people who are, let's say, uh, negative energy or low vibrations on the earth, are taking the long road home. People who are on higher vibrations and aware are taking the short road 
home to the mountain and the mountain is God. So if you see somebody on the, on the long road home, it's not because you're better than they are. They just took a different route to get to the mountain and the mountain is God. Exactly. So that, that, that's something I wanted to say. Um, I was raised a Christian um, when I was a teenager. Um, but when I got my second um, second uh, NDE, yeah. um, a lot of that information went out the window. And, and it's not that um, what I got in my download, yes, Jesus did. Uh, Jesus, there were many Jesuses. That's another thing. I got also that the Christ energy is very high energy. Um, it's right below unconditional love in the other world, the Christ energy. So there is the energy, Christ's energy, yes. Um, I also got that um, people misinterpreted Christ a lot also um, because Christ was trying to tell you in so many ways that you're no different than me. Um, I do miracles, but you can do greater. You're going to do greater. That's what he was telling you. But everybody ignores that, that passage in the Bible and they want to separate that, oh, it's just him. He's on the only son. And the real truth is we're all family. I mean, except uh, Jesus has a different name than me. That's it. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and Jesus came as a more enlightened soul, which means that he brought the consciousness into the physical the consciousness of, of, of the other side into the physical. He did that. He brought that. And that's the difference between him and uh, maybe the average soul with, that would just come here. They wouldn't bring that consciousness, but he brought it. And that's why he was able to do those things. But, um, but in the other world, there is no uh, right or wrong or no better or better. There's none. Jesus has not looked at better than you or better than me to God. Not at all. It's just looked at as love and we're looked at as love. That's it. There was no better or better. You know, it's like seven or one. Seven is not better than one. It's just a different number, but it's not better. It's just another number. You see, and that's how it's looked at. I mean, I tell people, you know, um, I give this example. Um, about um, people think that they have to fight their way to get their way. They have to fight against something to get their way. And I say to them, if you put your fist together and you try to punch a hole in a rock, a mountain, you can't do it. You can't. But if I take a soft drop of water every day and drop it on a rock, it will put a hole in a rock. A soft drop of water will pull a hole in a mountain. And the water is love. The water is love. And that's what I tell people. Uh, no matter how much you think this person will never change or this person will never be, if you continue every day giving that person love, it will affect them in a big way, more than you know. And that's why I don't judge people. I don't judge anybody um, because some of us are going to be more awake at this particular time and some of us won't be, but it's still the soul's choice. And people tell me sometimes, well, you know, what happens with their child that was murdered and blah, blah, blah. And I say, first thing, what I learned from my mother is that the soul knows the present, past and future. They know it already. Even the child, that soul of that child knew that it wasn't going to stay here that long. Second thing is that a soul leaves the body before there's too much pain. It will leave. It will not experience it. So if a child is murdered, it won't experience the murder. The, the soul will be out of the body. That's it. So that's, that's, those are the two things I want to say. Um, and we should all, as much as we can, live in the present because the present is actually creating the future. It's not the other way around where you, I, I'm going to look into the future and I try to, no, no. The present is the 
the thing that creates the future. So live in the present because this is the gift, is the present. And it's funny that it has the name of gift, present. So that's, that's the, the power of that. And we are very powerful. That's another thing. Um, we are gods. We are powerful. So we create. And whatever we strongly believe in in this life, we can create it on the other life. And that's, that's where um, these people who die and go to hell and come back, you know, because in the Christian religion, if you go to hell, you're supposed to be there forever. You're never yeah. supposed to be able to leave. So why did they leave? <laughs> because they're the ones that are creating that hell, not God. They are the ones that are creating that hell. And that's what I got from my download too. So, um, so it's what you believe because you are such a creator, God. You're so powerful. You have no idea. Right now, the life we're living right now is like a fingernail of the power that you're using, a fingernail of your soul. That's how powerful you are. How powerful. And love is, is the extreme power. Now we're going, I'm going to go now to where we are now, the present. We're living uh, in an earth uh, vibrational change. And what is this doing? Well, I have to go to my story about the earth because I, I didn't finish that. Sorry. The story is because the souls, certain souls create games on the other side and they created earth. And the deal was the earth is a soul, by the way. One may everybody know the earth is not just a piece of rock. It is a soul. And the earth agreed to play earth for um, a few billion years. That was the agreement. And we do have, we do have soul agreements. That's, that's the other thing that I, I got. We have soul agreements. Like you, you agree to be someone's mother. You agree with another soul to be uh, someone's uh, father or parent. We have soul agreements. Well, this, the earth agreed to be earth for a few billion years. So the souls could come and experience third dimension, lower density. Now the billion years are up and the mother earth, she said, I want to go now because the billion years are finished. I don't want to be in 3D anymore. I, I want to rise my vibration to 5D and, and above. And uh, the other soul said, no, we want you to say, but I want to tell everyone, all your listeners that no soul, no soul can control another soul. No soul can control another soul impossible because we're all so powerful impossible so what happened was uh, mother earth said no uh, i, I want to leave so she made a call for all her friends or all her other souls to be born onto the earth and they're called star seeds and these star seeds came to the earth just to help her raise vibration i'll explain an example it's like if you want to move to another apartment you can, you can do all the work by yourself, moving all the furniture by yourself, but it would take you a long time. But if you call your friends, yeah. they're going to help you. And guess what? You're going to move a lot faster. And that's what she did with the star seeds. She could do it herself, but it would take a lot longer. So she decided to call her friends and they came and now they're helping her and they're moving and they're raising. The earth is raising in vibration. And what that's doing is people who are on lower vibrations are not going to feel so good because um, what's going to happen is that they're going to fight to be even lower, to hold their vibration, which they can't anyway. Now, what's going to happen also is with the earth raising vibration, a lot more people are going to start to be aware or awake to who they really are. Okay, but the, the lower vibration people are going to try to make an illusion that things are getting more horrible because what you believe um, controls your timeline. Now, I'm going to explain timelines a little bit. Right now, we're in two timelines. One timeline is where the earth has risen her vibration to a higher vibration. 5D or higher. The other timeline is where the earth is 
at 3D and staying there or even going lower, okay? But these two timelines right now are over top of each other. So what's happened is that's why you're going to see really bad things, really good things all at the same time. And it's all so confusing. Mm -hmm. um, but eventually the earth is going to leave and there's going to be two timelines of earth. And one timeline will be 5D or higher, higher vibration where there will only be love. There will only be truth. There will only be peace. And the other timeline will be the third dimension, will, which will get quite worse, actually. <laughs> it will go lower. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say worse. I would say just go lower. Now, again, I repeat, no timeline is better. It's mm -hmm. just a different path. It's, one is the longer way home and the other is the shorter way home. That's it. That's all. And home is like the mountain. God is the mountain. That's all. So... Um, that's what's going on. So it's really important because this vibrational change that's happening now, it affects everything, everybody, everything. That's why you're going to have friends who were friends for years and now they're not friends anymore. Because what this does is define currently what vibration you're on. And it's really important now for people to be as positive as you can um, to not watch the news so much in the newspapers um, because then sadly they want to bring you into a lower vibration they want to bring you into their gang <laughs> which is a lower vibration okay um, so i would suggest to your readers as much as they can not to watch so much you can look, but don't stay stuck in that because that is a lower density. It's a lower vibration and it promotes because it's going to divide the people into fear and anger or into love and joy and hope. These is going to separate and it's becoming more and more clear to the whole entire world. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a very important time. We're going to experience these earth changes and this also going to affect the body. It's going to affect your, affect your DNA. Your DNA will be changing and you'll be actually, you'll start to get more powerful and you'll also get more sensitive to all the things around you. You'll feel more things. You'll be, be, you'll be in touch with closer of your soul power yes. and, than, your hum, than your human power. Okay. And you're going to be amazed what we can do. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say, oh, yeah, I'm going to send you a video, a movie um, that is going to really blow your mind of what's happening just through the earth raising her vibration with people. I won't tell you what it's all about, but it's a little bit long, um, um, but I'm going to send it to you. It's called yeah. Super, it's called Superhuman Invisible Now Visible. Superhuman, invisible, now visible. And um, yeah, so that's what we're going through now. So I would suggest people um, to go from love and heart, not fear. Oh, yeah, that's one th thing I got in my download, I forgot to say. Prayer. That's another powerful thing. That's more powerful than you think. Prayer. And also, in this movie, I'm going to send you you're going to see how powerful prayer is. You're going to see how powerful it is. So like I said, again, I repeat, nobody's better than nobody. And yeah. also, there's also, listen, there's also souls that, that will choose to leave at this point because the earth is rising in her vibration. She's changing. So they're not going to be able to experience the 3D like they want. And some of them uh, don't want to wait for the time to pick the timeline. Some of them get tired and they want to go. So it's going to be, an exodus of a lot of souls at this time. Some are going to choose to stay. Some are choose, going to choose to higher earth. Some are just going to choose lower. Some are just going to leave, period. Wow. And that's it. Um, but that's what I got. Um, and so, um, yeah, so the power of prayer is powerful and all is possible through it. Wow. Well, thank you so much for this very informative 
NDE experience and your story. I hope I absorb everything <laughs> that I heard from you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All this, this is really um, yeah, very amazing. Well, your experiences you, thanks. both from, from your mom and from the second. Yes. Thank you so much. So I, I have the feeling you answered all my questions. I, I, I wrote it somewhere. <laughs> and now I think you have, you have mentioned everything, but I'm still going to ask you in yes. case. Okay, no problem. This is a three-part video. So if you haven't watched the previous parts, please see below the link. Thank you so much for watching my very first video on this channel. And for all the subscribers and for all the likes, thank you so much. And for all the information about Dennis Bullock, you can contact him through email. I'll paste it down below the description. Thank you and hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye.